God, you've got an annoying voice. You also look fat when you cry. Your spirit animal is the naked mole rat. What the fu- why, hello there everybody. Welcome back to my second channel in the Littlewoods. It is Monday and a lot of people were requesting that I do uh, kind of like a weekly vlog. So not daily vlogs um, because my life isn't particularly interesting, which a lot of you pointed out. Thanks for that. Um, but no, a lot of people just said like, you know, if you do something in a similar vein to Sparkles' vlogs, Casey Neistat or like Chris Moyles, those kinds of vlogs where it's just kind of like little tidbits each day of the week and fill you in on what the hell is going on in my life. So it's Monday today, fairly good start to the week. Um, I've actually got two packages here and I haven't... the what is in either of them. So let's open them up. I'm gonna try and balance you on two water bottles. This could either go really well or really wrong. Okay, are we good? All right, sweet. So uh, first one I'm assuming is gonna be in my Pokemon binder, uh, which is for all of my cards. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, uh, okay. I guess this is themed to what I'm going to be doing this week. It's a shirt for The Division. Let me pull this bad boy out and show you it. And I think I mentioned to the guys on Twitter that make this merch the other day that I thought it looked really cool. So there you go. And this comes from Numskull Designs. So if you haven't checked them out, Numskull's N-U-M-S-K-U-L-L. And they do some really, really cool stuff. And then this one, I believe, comes from Magic Madhouse. And this is either my big Charizard box or it is going to be my yes it is oh baby this is uh another another mew another mythical mew this was the first one that i ordered and it cost about twice as much as the five that i've just opened yesterday you know what i got some pretty good stuff out of that i'm not gonna lie so i managed to pull uh, another jirachi so this will be a dupe for me hold on jirachi there you go um and then also this one finally finishes off my uh, evolution chain because i got a geodude and a graveler before and now i've got a hollow golem which is looking badass so that's pack one meowth raihan ponyta clement shauna oh <laughs> this is so random look at that I go from getting a golem, hollow, to getting a golem EX. Sure thing. Uh, we've got a Wabafet who has got his, uh, he's got a bit of lippy on, a bit of mascara. So apparently uh, just gone 6 p.m. on a Monday to a commercial address was deemed working hours for whoever it was that delivered this stuff from Amazon. But it's finally here. Look at this bad boy. I got myself a nice Pokemon binder. So this is basically 360 slots. Here is a little run through and you can sort of see how much I have filled out. So one to nine, pretty decent. These two pages, a little bit patchy, but I don't think there's anything too rare in there, so they'll be easy to fill in. Um, all but two on those two pages, and that's including break cards as well. So there's some pretty like awesome stuff inside of there. Um, all but one there, I actually don't know what comes after Trubbish. I don't know if Trubbish even has an evolution, but there you go. Um, all but two inside of here as well, and I don't think it's going to be anything beyond a Pangoro. So um, yeah, I don't know what these two are going to be. That'll be interesting to see. Um, all but three there. This is all for the uh, Breakpoint collection, by the way. So this is like the more accessible one. This is all from one booster box. Only missing three of those. I believe this is where all of the EXs start. So I think there's like a Mega Gyarados and a few other bits. And then we move on to the very final page. And all I've got left are four on that page. Because this is the secret rare. Because that is one, two, three out of one, two, two. And then funnily enough, actually, it works out nicely that I can have the promo card for January. And then I can have like Feb, March, April, May, June. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So I can have all 12 on here. And then on the next page, da -da, we start with the Generations cards. So I'm missing quite a lot of these. I've only had like, what, 10 booster packs as opposed to like 38. So we've got those ones and those ones. Doing okay on the Psychic front. Water ones we're missing a couple of, but of course we've got that Articuno, which is good. Loads of the ground and Psychic types, which is really good. So I'm hoping that there's maybe a Doug Trio. I'm going to assume there's a Machamp. And then what would go there? before the Diglett. Oh no, Jinx doesn't have an evolution, so that'll be a standalone one. Ooh, okay. Then we move on to the next page. Fairly sparse, but it already goes from the normal types into the trainer card. So all of this here, all trainers. So, it's, you know, those are going to be pretty easy to come by. All the energy cards here as well. And then, of course, we've got the blank spot because that's where number one is at the start of the Radiant Collection. So this comes within generations. Um, and it looks like there are 32 Radiant Collection cards. So obviously, one, two, three, four. People have told me that the story um, of this Charmander growing up with his trainer gets you in the feels when you get to Charizard. So um, that's the one I'm really looking for at the minute to finish that chain. I've got quite a few of the Radiant Collections, actually. Considering how many there are, I mean, I've got two of that 
that one. I think I got two Jirachis as well. So, you know, I did pretty good on this, and it ends... Actually, it doesn't even end on this page. So then we've got Gardevoir over here at the end. Well, I say the end. Number 30, 31, 32, and I'm highly doubtful that there's a secret rare in there. And that is even included my, uh, my dupes, right? Check this out. This is ridiculous, okay? Are you ready to see how many dupes I've got off Breakpoint? that many <laughs> like that's that's absurd those are all duplicates i i don't know what i'm gonna do with them like do i try to sell them do i wait until comic-con and i go to the pokemon trading card area i don't really know how people go about getting rid of dupes and like kind of you know maximizing the amount that they spend on this trading card game in terms of filling out a collection <laughs> Oh boys, it's the day of the division. I'm excited. I got the swag on, as I promised that I would do. Uh, but before I do that, I need to go and film an episode of The Legend of Zelda. I say an episode, probably a few episodes of uh, Twilight Princess HD for the channel. Pretty much bob on an hour. And I've managed to film a good chunk of time on that, which is pretty good. So I ran through the Elden province, and I had to do a thing as well. This happens a lot on my channel, where I tell people I am playing something for the very first time. Whether it be a brand new game that nobody knows anything about, or if it's a game that has been out for ages and has had a re-release, or it's just generally an old game. And people expect you to be this fucking, like, guru, like this all-knowing being when it comes to video games. It's like, no, I'm not going to know about, like, a chest that only appears when you light all the lanterns in a very passable room oh god like backseat gaming is one of my biggest pet peeves so now i've basically got the rest of the day to play the division can you hold that there yeah right on the nip right on the nip so that might have looked really weird, but it wasn't as weird as it looks, okay? So um, that was one of our guys, Mike, and he was measuring me up for an outfit that I'm going to be wearing for uh, a couple of videos and also at the Unfair Ground, we're calling it, which is our after-hours show at Gadget Show Live, which is at the start of April. So if you want to see what that is, keep on watching these vlogs, or you can even pick up a ticket as well. If I have the link, I'll bang it down in the description, uh, and you can come and see us in Birmingham. I just remembered that Overwatch got announced yesterday, so it finally got a release date. So instead of pre-ordering it online on the game website, um, I always prefer to pre-order it in the game store because then it means that I'm not waiting on a delivery on the day It will literally be there in the store in the morning ready for me to go and grab so gotta pop out and get that Go on then why not Um, excuse me, will you stop looking at my balls? My jasmine, green tea, bubble tea, extra coconut syrupy balls. What up everybody? It is Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day, and what the hell is this? Not the box, that's been there for ages, that's just like a, a cat carrier thing. But this, look at that hat, there's white gloves, these ballet shoes? Maybe that'll give you a little hint as to what I'm supposed to be dressing up as. But anyway, it's Wednesday, so today is Super Mario Maker Day, uh, because they have released the Super Expert Mode, which is absolutely bloody terrifying for me. But before that, I've gotten into my office, and there is a random package on my desk. And the reason I find this strange is because this is actually to the office address and not to our PO Box address, so I have no clue what it could be. And it is... Oh, it's something to do with the division! Oh, hold on a second. So you've got that on the front of it just there, and then if I open this thing up... Oh, fuck! No! <laughs> oh, no! It is! Holy crap. So, if you've played The Division, uh, you don't need to have played very much of it. You'll just know in the opening sequence, even in the trailers as well, the emphasis is on the orange ring that they have, and all of them wear it as a wristwatch, and I think that's what this is. Look at that. Oh, God, that is so cool. i got to open this up right now and have a look. Is there even... There's not. There's not a letter saying who this came from, I don't think. Like, I don't know if this is from Ubisoft themselves or if this has come from uh, Numskull Designs because, obviously, they sent me the T-shirt and the other merch, but I don't recall seeing a watch on that list. And there it is. Look at that. That's what the watch looks like when it's all on and activated. There's an inscription on the inside of this as well, which reads, Extremis Malice, Extrema Remedia, which, obviously, is based around the idea that these are the team that are called in when it's their last hope. Oh, and there it is. That's the bad boy switched on. So there we go. Nice little surprise to start off my work day. Whoever sent that in, thank you so much. What the fuck do I look like? <laughs> Mark's getting a right good kick out of this. There's even a hole in the trousers as well. This hole was here before I got them. That's not good. Nina's going to do my face paint. Oh, yeah. Let's get me, uh, get me straps on. I don't understand how girls do this every day. <laughs> 
big white no but you know what i mean right face. like it just yeah. feels so like unnatural yeah, I don't this really is do it that crappy, that crappy that makeup though yeah just, no well, it's but not... still Right. Oh, sorry. I have to give me a heads up where you're putting it. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting the cheek again. It's so cold. This one is too big yeah, to yeah, get. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you need to warn me about this. <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm sorry. The more you look up, the more your head goes up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. It's not a problem. Well I'm sorry. There you go. I can see like my eyebrows in like, like <laughs> in my vision. <laughs> Shin's like, what? That has Shin. <laughs> Shin's like, I avoided this. Dodge the bullet. <laughs> Is this, did you say no to this? <laughs> you oh, this. oh, the beard would have been a nightmare. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, that's true actually. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, 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 yeah, yeah. I was just trying to save you all time. <laughs> Lies. Like, could, with your mouth, could you do this? Oh god. Okay. okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. That's Guns. good, that's good. Don't show Keith your teeth. Don't <laughs> What was <No>. that? <laughs> it's standards. <laughs> Coronation Street. <laughs> I'd be so good at that. I think I would just lose yeah. from laughing rather than yeah. trying to say yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, totally. I've only just seen the picture in this frame. Harry made it. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> oh no! This has never happened it's before in my life! Easier. Just uh, shut up, close your eyes, let it happen. Easier. Shut up! I'm gonna do a mime, okay? okay. I. <laughs> I won't tell you what that was. <laughs> yeah, he is one <laughs> Oh shit. Vera, wear me glasses! <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah? That's good. Is that all right? <laughs> is that what you're going to do on stage at the dentist? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the... Uh... <laughs> the Star-Lord. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But it's when you try to take it down, it's like, ah, oh, it's like... <laughs> Can you still see the- You want to give him a permanent can still surprised see... expression. You kind of just look like a geisha. <laughs> Senpai. I feel like I should have made your eyebrows like sad. Mm. <laughs> I still look sad though when I've had look. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Yeah, you do actually. <laughs> oh god, you get- God, that's terrifying. I get some real shape in these. Look at that. Ready? Yeah. So, ready, what? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Done. Done product. Good job, Nina. That's all right. Anytime. <laughs> oh, my God. So now I've got my set for putting my makeup on. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, beautiful. Ho, ho. Give us a sad face. <laughs> Amazing. This morning, I've got this bad boy. I picked it up on the way into work from Curry's. I was going to order it from Amazon, but instead, I found it for the exact same price physically in store. So I thought, why not go for it? So this is the GoPro Hero 4 Black. And the reason that I've gotten this is because in the middle of April, I'm going to be doing the Monster Race, which is basically this 5K run, which has got obstacles in it as well, like mud crawling and wall climbs and monkey bars over cold water. You have to jump in like a skip of ice water at some point as well. So I thought if I get this, I bought the head strap as well. I thought it'd be pretty funny to uh, to wear on the day, which would be quite good. And also on top of that, um, when we do eventually get the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, I thought wearing it on my chest and actually having it in front of me. So you know when I'm using those controllers, I thought having a separate camera angle to occasionally cut to or even have on the screen at all times, where you can see my perspective of the hand and you see how well it goes one to one inside the game. I thought that would also be pretty beneficial as well. So let's open this up. <laughs> How do you open this? Alright, there you go, there you go. That's what that was one off. Oh god. There's just sticky stuff everywhere. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh very satisfying. Yes, so good. So what we got inside of here then? We've got um another face plate. Okay, we've got a I guess some like mounts. 
We've got another thing which I'm assuming screws onto the bottom. But this thing like... Spin oh god! <laughs> okay that doesn't work we've got what looks like a regular mounting frame we've got a usb cable and that's about it all right it seems to be working so if i press this in are you gonna come to life oh oh god it's alive <laughs> it's gonna blow okay so it's on 1080p 60 fps seems to be the default setting so far so i literally just hit record ah yeah there you go look a red light Oh, cool. Hello. Hi. I don't even know if you have a microphone inside of you. I would assume you do. I've heard like audio on other people's footage. If I sit you next to my regular camera and we could do this. So we're on the GoPro right now and then up to the other one and then back to the GoPro. We could do like a side by side comparison. We're not expecting obviously the same quality. They're built for very different purposes, but just in general, it'd be nice to know kind of what the compare and contrast is between the two. So I'm just searching on the app store right now to see if I can find the GoPro app, because as much as that camera doesn't have a viewfinder on it, you can use your phone as a viewfinder, which will make it a lot easier on the day of the monster race for me to be able to see if my camera is one, working, and two, if I've actually got a decent angle with the head strap on. And really quickly before we carry on with this vlog, um, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate any donations you could throw out way we're raising money for the company special effects who we've supported on the yogscast charity streams before and they're the company that create different kinds of technology to allow people with varying disabilities to still be able to play video games so if you want to go over to that the link is justgiving.com forward slash blame tom because it was tomahawk that convinced us all to do this in the first place so that's what it's named after oh wait there we go okay cool <laughs> hey wow i forget how like fisheye lensy this thing can be okay check this out so if i turn that around to there you should be able to see me or see yourself as to what I'm up to right now. Oh, this is so cool. Hi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. All right, cool. I can't mention the head strap and then not wear it, can I? So here we go. Are we rolling? Okay, it's rolling now. Okay, so if I take these off and, uh, and put this head strap on, I'm going to look ridiculous from both angles. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually super flexy, the headband. So this will be what I'm wearing on race day. Look at that. I mean, my hair's going to be a total mess, but there you go. So these are my hands. Ooh. And I can probably angle this like higher and lower as well, depending on what I want to do. There you go. This is what it looks like for a normal day in my office. So fingers crossed when I get this footage onto the PC, it's going to look sexy as hell. Um, I'm not too bothered about the audio quality, if I'm completely honest, especially when it's inside of a chamber as well. I think all of my video from that day is just going to be like, you know, a montage type thing with a load of music thrown over the top of it, because that'll be easiest. <laughs> Did I scare you? Probably not. Anyway, it's uh, it's very late at Yog Towers. I've finally finished um, basically packing up my entire room. Like anyone would think I would be leaving this office. Um, so let's go through it all. We've got bag and coat. They're going home. Uh, Guinness World Record cat carrier, which has got a buttload of stuff in. That is going home. Um, I've been meaning to open that for like, I would say over a month. Like that's been sat in that massive, like weird cellophane wrap thing for ages. Um, anything inside of said box is going in the skip. Um, unfortunately, this has got to go in the skip. I'm tempted to take the poster out of it and maybe repurpose it. It's the uh, Philip DeFranco monkey poster, one of the old ones. So I reckon I'm going to take that out the frame and I can put that back together. Um, and then just all of this has come off my desk <laughs> it's basically sat here now so we've got beal monitors got my chair we've got some other stuff like that we've got a fan mailbox uh, my tower everything good like that and then because they're going to be like basically taking out these two desks and chucking new ones in i'm worried that they're going to nudge these shelves uh, and especially that one as well so what i've done is certain shelves like this one just here um used to be filled with like pokemon and loads of little didbits and trinkets it was like pokemon zelda and mario all in one i've grabbed everything from each franchise and basically divided them into three little bags which means after like months and maybe even upwards of a year now I've seen that I'm going to divide those shelves I finally can <laughs> So I've had this shower radio for like maybe like a week maybe two it's from a company called Towtronics and listen to this it's actually got water inside of it no matter what angle I shake this thing at nothing comes out how did it get in there in the first place as long as the other guy, as long as everyone can see these guys, that's the most important thing for me. Cool. Are you vlogging? Maybe. Oh, I might be vlogging. Vlog. I might be vlogging. Hi. And you kind of see now this figure looking back. Um, and he's got like a pair of, he, uh, this half orc has like goggles on his head, a long orange cloak, and he has this bandolier with kind of very strange looking stones on it. Um, and yeah, this at this point, so Steve, if we can bring up the artwork of, uh, of Martin's character. So there you go, that's what he looks like. <laughs> so that, Holy yeah. shit. Look at his nips. 
<laughs> you know, you got to keep, keep it free and plumbing. It's not what I was expecting from Mar- Martin's No, I don't think anybody was. I don't was. think anybody was. No. Hi, I'm Alora. And I just took my hand out. You remind me of my mother, Phil. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. Is that good or bad? Probably the orc side. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. The orc was the, the male, right? Yeah. As Very you go to carefully. leave, Cam's trousers fall down. <laughs> and then you just hear like a giggling, like, hee hee. <sighs> He's wearing underpants, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> Very bright red, striped with white, just underwear, really baggy. <laughs> Those remind me of my father's. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird, folk. Uh, you keep that to yourself. And, uh, <laughs> okay, all right. I buckle up. All right. Good. I, this would In Melora's name. Good. Cam, he reminds me of my grandfather. <laughs> I mean, do you just have a very generic... Like father, grandfather, because you know. I have actually never met either parent. Uh, so you're just, <laughs> this is just how I've always just imagined. Projecting them <laughs> from the stories. Right, 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 right. I'm starting to understand you a lot more now. <laughs> Join us, Falk. You would make a fine warrior. Mm, Falk that. <laughs> so there it is then. That is week one of the vlogs. Finito. I've just finished up the D&D stream. Uh, you would have seen like a little highlight reel of it just a second ago. And I had a really, really good time. I really enjoyed myself. So next week I'm going to be back as Falk. I've got my little uh, character sheet just here, which is pretty handy. I've also got my die that I bought especially for that character, which was really cool. And then I also managed to pick up a mace, which I traded uh, Cam Buckland for, which is the Molokaka, which is this huge like mace, which has some magical properties to it so I can either sell it for money or more likely I'm probably going to keep it as my like you know non-ranged weapon which would be cool but uh but yeah that's it thank you so much for watching next week a little teaser as to what's coming up I should have like next time on in the little woods you're going to see the assembly process of all of this <laughs> like I'm sure I'll just time lapse me putting my office back together I'm also heading out next week to London uh which I don't usually like going to London's not my kind of place but I'm going there for one Sparkles' birthday on Thursday which will be really fun and it just so happens that it's at the same event that we were just accidentally attending at the same time, uh, which is the UK premiere of Zootropolis. Now, don't get on my case. It's called Zootropolis in the UK. It's called Zootopia everywhere outside of Europe because some Dutch zoo that doesn't exist yet copyrighted that zoo name uh, like five years ago or something daft like that. Look it up for yourselves. Have a good one. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>